So, my first stop in the morning was at a deep hole. Um, I, I, it's where I got the big one in practice that first morning off the stumps I was telling you about. Fished it for about an hour, and there was no shad. Shad were completely gone. Uh, made a move about eight o'clock over and just started uh, running some points that were in a uh, creek close by. Do that. Ah, oh. oh, he got his crankbaits. He's got just the back freaking hook too. Come on. Take your time. Got it. Got it. All right, baby. Watch, watch, stay off that corner. Yeah. Oh, he's very big, but I'm not getting that skunk out of the boat. Oh, yeah, he's 15. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He ain't much, but this week, boy, I'm proud to have him.
he's a good one, but good. Barely got him hooked too. Guys, what we did, I, I, all the grass here is a little bit deeper. Yeah. Been throwing a DT-10 and went to a DT-14 because we're gonna few fish out there. Awesome. Same, same pattern, a little deeper. Time to get the net. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. Oh, I didn't know he switched the jig. That's yeah. awesome. Got it off that waypoint. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all, YouTube, go ahead and make fun of me. I called it a big one. <laughs> he ain't nothing but a little two pounder, but he's a keeper. Number four. Number four. Okay. I think he's number four. Better measure him. Yeah. No, he's... Believe me, I'm the master of 14. He's 15. <laughs> what uh, gear ratio are you? So this one I throw on a 5 4 to 1. Okay. And a 10 foot, I throw on a uh, 6 foot to 1. Well, I got you. How big is that? Come on, baby. Nice one. Yes, sir. Well, I didn't really want to do that, but. Thank you, Lord. Believe. Oh, yeah. Believe that's going to be number five, guys. Oh. Yeah. No, they're just fish, but I think that's going to be number five. That's it for day one. Um, really wish I could have called out that little one. I got one that's like 14, 14 and a half. Probably not even gonna be two pounds. If I could have caught a three pounder, it would, have, it would have really, really helped. But thankful, blessed to catch what I caught. Um, we don't know how big that big one was, probably six, seven pounds. Um, no clue if I can do it tomorrow. Absolutely no clue. Just take it one day at a time, one cast at a time. Made some moves today that uh, I probably won't do tomorrow. I'll probably more hunker down kind of had the whole area to myself so i think if i can go catch me 12 13 pounds tomorrow I should be able to leave texas with a little money it's all the tournament in the books i caught a bass i caught a bass, I caught a bass. He, caught five. he caught five good ones it's gonna freeze over mama uh-uh <laughs> uh-uh well, that's rough baby <laughs> That's, that's my buddy there. He's always giving me a hard time. I do my best to get right back to him. Uh, just got done with lay in, and it was like it's actually more weight than I thought. I figured, you know, I always I hate I hate over guessing. I hate guessing like, oh, I got 15 pounds, and I uh, came out at 14.03. So that's uh, I feel like pretty healthy here. I'm super excited about it. 
I don't think I can do it again tomorrow unless I catch another big one. I just, I'm just not around that quality of fish, but there are an absolute ton of fish in here. Uh, big ones, I mean, a bunch of big ones. So we'll see. I'm really excited just to get that first day out of the way. It's always nice to start at least a decent first day and not have to worry about playing catch up. You know, uh, it just, it just sucks. It sucks to, to do bad on the first day and dig yourself some big hole that nobody wants to do it. It's hard to do. It sucks. You go out in a bad mood. So really excited about it. Hopefully just uh, the conditions aren't supposed to change a whole lot. Just going to stick to the program tomorrow. Hopefully catch another 14, 15 pounds. Maybe. I don't know what the weights are going to be. We were the first flight. Maybe make the cut. But I think if I can catch another 12 pounds, I should get paid. We'll see. I'm excited. See y'all tomorrow. So for day two, um, I started back over in Farmers where actually, so this is actually the point that I caught my first keeper um, on day one since I didn't even have a sniff over there in Buck Bay. I'll have to just to go ahead and start running points with a crankbait um, for day two. Now guys, if you like train wreck fish landings, I think you'll enjoy this right here. Not a pretty fish landing at all. Good keeper, though. But a good keeper. Good stuff. Here we go. One more. Got it. There goes, guys. Keeper number one. Yep, there's keeper number one. Huh? That, oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. Please, Lord. Pull you around, ain't he? <laughs> yeah, just, I know he's hooked outside the mouth. Yeah. Oh, another good one. Oh, of course. Hold him up. That's a good number two. So after those first two bites, um, those happened in the first, you know, hour or two of the morning, um, which isn't exactly quick compared to what everybody else was doing. Um, I come in the same area and I was kind of excited because I thought, you know, it was going to 
going to happen again like it did the first day, but it didn't. Um, I actually went five hours and 12 minutes until my next bite. I ran around like crazy. I uh, got a little bit spun out. You can see here I had a spinning rod. I was a Ned rig, and I ran literally all over the lake. Um, finally got in a creek and was able to pick the crank up back up and put three more in the boat. Freaking much. I don't even know if he's a keeper, but I think he is. You know, in the, in the 60 years that I've been growing up, there's. Got another one? Yep. Good. I don't think there is. I think I got a foul hooked. Awesome. He might. That don't mean wrong with skinny, ain't he? Pretty skinny. Either, but if he's 14, dang. I don't know if he's 14, is he? Look at that. He ate a rutted boat. So that little bitty 13, 13 and a half inch Kentucky, um, that ended my first tournament of the year. Um, on video, you can see not just real happy or not just real, you know, super overly excited about it. But end of the day, that small fish as my fifth keeper was a $9,000 fish. I ended up getting a check, snuck in there about five ounces. Clearly that was the one that did it. Had it on one hook, on the back hook. Ate it at the boat, call it luck, call it a God thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was thankful to have it. Appreciate all y'all watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. As always, definitely, definitely appreciate a subscribe or just click the thumbs up button. Give me a like. Either way, I appreciate y'all's time and I'll have more coming soon.